The Red Bull F1 team might have broken the rules. So what was Red Bull theoretically doing? Thanks to Craig Scarborough, we believe Red Bull is using brake-based torque vectoring. Torque vectoring is the idea that when you're going around a corner, if you add power to the outside wheel or slow down the inside wheel, the vehicle will turn into the corner much faster. And what Red Bull was most likely doing was using a completely passive system that performs this torque vectoring. It uses this mass here in the rear brake line where it tees off to the rear brakes. Anytime the brakes are applied and the vehicle starts cornering, this mass shifts to one side and sends more hydraulic fluid to the inside wheel. This extra hydraulic fluid fluid means the brakes are applied with more force on the inside wheel. And this allows the vehicle to rotate into the turn, and consequently, carry more speed into the corners. And F1 already has torque vectoring. Every car has differential settings that the driver can change, and those settings determine how the differential acts in the corner, depending on if the driver is braking, coasting, or on throttle. So if we already have torque vectoring, why did Red Bull add this system? The idea is that engine braking in a Formula 1 car usually slows a vehicle down by somewhere around 1 or 1.1 g. Brakes can slow the vehicle down by 5 to 6 g. With this system, Red Bull has potentially 5 times the force in the torque vectoring than they would with just the differential and engine braking. 